Hello, welcome to Homemade Mathematics. My name is Sierra and I'm so happy that you are joining me today. And this video is to show you a fun, easy game that takes very little material. All you need is a deck of cards, paper, and then something to write with. You could even make your own cards so you don't even actually need the deck of cards unless that's what you want to use. I've also created various different versions of this game so that it is accessible and suitable for anyone from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. I originally made this game to practice adding and subtracting integers, which are our positive and negative whole numbers. However, like I said, I've created various different versions of this um, so it can actually be used kindergarten through 12th grade. Adding and subtracting integers is a skill that a lot of students seem to struggle with, um, even all the way through high school. I actually ended up using this game um, when I taught 7th through 12th grade, and I used it in every single class because it's a skill um, that usually can always use some extra practice with. The way this game works, it's also quite a bit more challenging than just doing a worksheet or flashcards. Um, because instead of just answering the questions, you're actually having to choose from your deck of cards um, which things can be put together to make a true math statement. So it's using more critical thinking skills, um, and it's also a much more fun way to practice instead of just doing endless amounts of worksheets or endless amounts of flashcards. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the cards mean if you do decide to use a deck of cards. As you can see, the cards are pretty self-explanatory, and can easily be adjusted to match any student's skill level. For example, with your face cards, you could completely take those out. You could play so that your jack is 11, queen is 12, king is 13, or I've also played where the jack and queen is 10 and king is zero. You can make those cards whatever you want them to be. Also, the joker. I always play it as a free card, but you can also make that whatever you want. And like I said, I originally made this game to practice integers, which is our positive and negative numbers. So I have our black cards being positive and red being negative. But you could change this game so they're all positive to make it a little bit easier. Now that we know what everything means or what we want it to mean, let's go ahead and look at how we play this game. As you can tell from the title, this game is based off of Go Fish. But instead of playing pairs in your hand, you'll be playing true math sentences. Using this game board, you will play back and forth until someone plays all of their cards and wins. It can also be changed so that you can practice subtraction. After you've drawn your game board, you're ready to play. Each player will receive eight cards. This can be played as a two-player game, multiplayer, or even by yourself. In order to play, you have three options. Your first option, which is your best option, is to play three cards from your hand. If you have three cards that make a true math sentence in your hand, you want to go ahead and play those to get rid of them. If not, you can use one of the cards that are already on the board and play two different cards. If neither of those are an option, this is where you can go fish. Choose two cards from your hand and then choose a player to ask to see if they have the third card that you would need to make that true math statement. I'm going to go ahead and put these last few slides down below in the description box in case any of you guys want that. But let's go ahead and take a look at what a few rounds of this game look like. So as you can see, you can just use any scratch piece of paper you have around the house to make your game board. So here I'm just setting up the game. I'm shuffling and giving eight cards. We're just doing a two player game. So eight cards for me and eight cards for my partner. Here's a look at my hand. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can find what you would play. I decided on negative eight plus a positive four would get you negative four. Now take a look at my partner's plan. He decides to use the negative eight. What other two cards from his hand could he use to make a true math sentence? Since he's using that negative 8, he only has to play two other cards. So a negative 8 and a positive 5 would get us negative 3. Sometimes you won't have anything to play. 
So here I'm choosing two of my cards and asking my partner for the match that I would need. The other player ended up having the card I needed, so I was able to take that from them and play those cards. The other player decides to do the same thing. He uses a positive 11 and negative 4 and asks me for a positive 7. I did not have it, so he had to go fish. As you can see, this takes a deeper understanding of adding and subtracting integers. You aren't just doing the math, you're having to actually put these things together. Um, because of this, it can be frustrating the first few times. I know the first two or three times I introduced this to my class, I spent a lot of time just walking around the room helping students find these pairs. So a way I suggest to start is by either playing one player where you're just purely trying to find these pairs, or um, if you do want to play the full game, you can go ahead and do that, but leave your cards out on the table so that if you do need help, you can just look over at each other's and help find those true math sentences. However, after the first two or three times of playing, you will get the hang of this and it will come a lot more naturally and students were playing with no problems um, without any help from me at all. I have so many different games I've come up with that I would just love to share on this channel. I got into teaching math um, because I had a really great 8th grade math teacher that made things fun. Ever since then, I've wanted to do the same thing for my students, and now as a business owner and I'm no longer teaching, I thought a great way to do this was to make videos sharing some of the things that I did in my classroom. I'll be sharing more fun games, activities, and even some projects on this channel. Um, so make sure if you do like things like this to go ahead and subscribe. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and share so your friends can play it as well. If you tried out the game, go ahead and comment below which version you played. Or if you made your own version, tell me how you made it your own um, and how you played. I'm also available for online tutoring um, through whichever video service you like, whether that's Skype, Zoom, whatever. I have my teaching license in both Iowa and Colorado for 5th through 12th grade math, um, and I do have experience teaching 7th through 12th grade as well as tutoring for many, many years. I am extremely flexible and affordable. Um, if you want to just send me a message and we can go ahead and talk about how I can help you and your students. My email is homemademathematics at gmail.com, so just go ahead and send me an email there um, and let me know how I can help you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you tune in next Monday for another Math Monday with Sierra.